what are RAID levels? RAID Redundant array of independent tests or redundant array of inexpensive tests. RAID is a way of grouping individual physical drives together to form one bigger drive called the RAID set. The RAID set represents all the smaller physical drives as one logical disk to your server. A logical disk is called the logical unit number or LUN. There are two ways of implementing the system. One is hardware RAID, another one is software RAID. Hardware RAID is directly managed by a dedicated hardware controller to which the disks are connected. The RAID calculations are managed by an onboard processor which offloads the strain on the host CPU. Software RAID is part of the OS and is the easiest and most cost-effective implementation. It does not require the use of an additional, often costly, piece of hardware and the proprietary firmware. Here is a list of the most used RAID levels. RAID 0 – Disk Striping RAID 0 splits data across any number of disks allowing higher data throughput. Minimum number of disks required or two. Pros – Increased performance, write and read speeds. Cons – No redundancy. Business use – Live streaming, IPTV, video on demand, edge servers. Here is an image that shows the example of how a RAID 0 is done. Let's look into RAID 1, otherwise called disk mirroring. RAID 1 writes and reads identical data to pair of drives. This process is often called data mirroring and its primary function is to provide redundancy. Minimum number of disks required or two. Pros, Fault tolerance and easy data recovery, increased read performance. Cons, lower usable capacity, high cost per megabyte. What are its business use? Standard application servers where data redundancy and availability is important. Here is an attached image shows how a RAID 1 configuration is done. Let's look into RAID 5 striping with parity. RAID 5 stripes data blocks across multiple disks like RAID 0 and it also stores parity information which is used to recover the data in case of disk failure. Minimum number of disks required are 3. Prones fault tolerance and increased performance lower than RAID 0. Cons Lower performance with servers performing large amounts of write operations because of parity overhead. Idle use, file storage servers and application servers. An image shown below shows how a RAID 5 is configured. RAID 6 Striping with double parity RAID 6 is similar to RAID 5. However, it produces increased reliability as it stores an extra parity block. Minimum number of disks required are 4. Pros Even higher redundancy than RAID 5, increased read performance. Cons Lower performance with servers performing large amounts of write operations because of parity overhead. Idle use Large file storage servers and application servers. Here is an image that shows how a RAID 6 is configured. RAID 10 – Striping plus Mirroring RAID 10 combines the mirroring of RAID 1 with the striping of RAID 0. Or in other words, it combines the redundancy of RAID 1 with the increased performance of RAID 0. Minimum number of disks required are 4. Pros – Very high performance and fault tolerance. Cons – Lower usable capacity with high cost, limited scalability. Idle use – Highly utilized database servers, servers performing a lot of write operations. Here is an image showing how a RAID 10 is stacked. 